The Kingdom of Belgium is a constitutional and parliamentary state in Western Europe. The country was founded in 1830 after proclaiming its independence from the Kingdom of the Netherlands. Since then, Belgium has developed into a prosperous and developed country in Europe. Belgium is one of the most important and influential members of the European Union. Despite facing several political and economic crises, Belgium remains a stable and prosperous country in Europe. Today, Belgium is ruled by King Philippe and has a constitutional and parliamentary system of government. The country also has a developed and rapidly growing economy, with Brussels being an important financial and business center in Europe. King Philippe of Belgium was born on April 15, 1960 at the Belvedere Palace in Brussels, Belgium. He is the eldest son of King Albert II and Queen Paola. King Philippe's family has a long aristocratic background and comes from the saxe coburg gotha dynasty. King Philippe married Matilda Diadecum de Coes in 1999 and has four children, namely Princess Elizabeth, Prince Gabriel, Princess Eleanor, and Prince Emmanuel. But before we continue the video, it's a good idea for you to subscribe our channel, so you don't miss other interesting videos about political figures and other famous figures all around the world. Hopefully this video can provide inspiration and new insights for all of us. Princess Elizabeth Theresia Maria Helena, better known as Princess Elizabeth, is the eldest daughter of King Philippe of Belgium and Queen Matilda. She was born on October 25, 2001 in Anderlecht, Belgium. As the eldest daughter, she is heir to the Belgian throne and holds the title Duchess of Brabant. Previously, ten years before Elizabeth was born, a new rule regarding the succession to the throne, absolute primogeniture, was enacted, which meant that Elizabeth would be first in the line of succession, because she was the first child. If Elizabeth ascends to the throne as predicted, she will become the first queen to rule a Belgian kingdom since its founding in 1830. Princess Elizabeth received her education at a private school in the Belgian royal environment, namely the Royal Palace School in Brussels. This school is a private school for children of the Belgian royal family and children of diplomats. Princess Elizabeth also attended several educational programs abroad, such as student exchange programs in Switzerland and programs at Atlantic College in Wales. Princess Elizabeth was reported to be a diligent student and high achiever in school. She displayed talent and interest in a variety of fields, including languages and the arts. Princess Elizabeth was known as a very intelligent child, and spoke several languages, including Dutch, French, English, and German. Princess Elizabeth is also active in various extracurricular activities at her school, including social and sports activities. She is also involved in various community and charitable activities in Belgium and abroad. In 2020, Princess Elizabeth joined the Royal Belgian Military Academy in Brussels as a student, after graduating from high school in Uccle. This decision is a big and important step in her education and development as a crown princess and future leader of the country. Military school is a type of education that focuses on training in discipline, courage, teamwork, leadership, and physical abilities. Military schools also provide quality academic education, covering areas such as science, technology, history, politics, and military strategy. 
Military education will help Princess Elizabeth to develop leadership skills, self-discipline, and an understanding of national security and defense strategy. This education will also provide valuable experience in facing challenges and overcoming problems, as well as developing adaptive abilities in changing situations. Princess Elizabeth's decision to attend military education shows her determination and seriousness in preparing herself as a future leader of Belgium. It is hoped that this military education will assist Princess Elizabeth in carrying out her duties as Crown Princess and in leading Belgium wisely and effectively in the future. As the Belgian Crown Princess, Princess Elizabeth of Belgium has been heavily involved in state activities, such as In 2019, Princess Elizabeth went on a state visit to Japan with King Philippe and Queen Matilda of Belgium. During this visit, Princess Elizabeth met the Emperor of Japan and studied Japanese culture. Princess Elizabeth also attended the launch of the Barracuda-class submarine in Cherbourg, France. This event is part of the defense cooperation between Belgium and France. Princess Elizabeth attends the 75th anniversary of Operation Market Garden in Arnhem, Netherlands. This operation was one of the major Allied operations during World War II. Princess Elizabeth from Belgium always takes part in the national flag-raising event every year. On July 21, together with the royal family. Uniquely, in 2021, Princess Elizabeth wore the uniform of the Royal Belgian Military Academy and led a line of academy students in the parade. In addition to state activities related to her official duties as Crown Princess, Princess Elizabeth often attends cultural events such as classical concerts. In 2021, Princess Elizabeth attended the annual Queen Elizabeth Competition concert in Brussels. In 2023, Princess Elizabeth, Duchess of Brabant, who is the heir to the Belgian throne, follows in the footsteps of her ancestors, who loved ancient Egypt, and travels with her son, Prince Leopold, to attend the opening of Tutankhamun's tomb. The royal tour marks a watershed moment for Princess Elizabeth of Belgium, who will one day succeed her father, King Philippe. Thank you for watching the video about the biography of Duchess of Brabant, the beautiful Princess Elizabeth of Belgium. Hopefully this video can provide a clear picture of the character's life and achievements. Don't forget to leave a comment below, and what do you think about the Duchess of Brabant, Princess Elisabeth Therese Marie Ellen? And who else do you think we'd like to cover in our next video? If you like the video, you can share to your friend or family, and don't forget to subscribe Creston Aconcagua channel, so you don't miss other interesting videos about the famous figures in around the world. See you in the next video.